first baseline. This Never. This is true. Well, you don't need a green thumb to become a great gardener. All you need is patience and a little uh, guidance. Bethany crouches with a guy who travels the world teaching gardening skills to everybody. Hi, Bethany. Hi, good morning, you guys. Yep, this is Farmer Joe, and yes, he does travel the world teaching skills. In fact, he just met these lo lovely folks at um, Home Depot and <laughs> became friends with them. Uh, Farmer Joe, uh, your passion is to empower people to grow their own microgreens. Absolutely. And uh, how did this come about for you? Uh, I grew up in a, in a family where we grew our own food, and then I moved away and came back because I needed to learn. And now you are teaching people, like, for example, Tanya and her daughter Bailey over here. So, Tanya, I'm going to swing on over. Um, what was it like for you guys working with Farmer Joe? And now are you guys growing these greens at your own home? We are, yes. We got in contact about a month ago, and he came over. He taught us how to grow the sunflowers, the peas, radish, broccoli, and we also grow wheatgrass. So were you surprised by how inexpensive and easy it is? It's very easy, and I think, more importantly, it's a great experience for the family. So you can get the kids involved. My kids help me. They are able to put the tubs together, and it's a great experience. I love that, and I love how affordable it is. Okay, so Farmer Joe, let's swing on over here because we want to point out this blue little tub you've got here going. Yes. And what do you have growing in there? Uh, that has got some cilantro in it, but over here to the left, we have a full-blown zucchini growing in water. Just set it and forget it. And basically, I filled this up with water, added the nutrients to the water, and made it myself, otherwise it would have cost me around $300, it cost me 60 cents to make. So this is a, a hydroponic essentially? This is hydroponic, I learned this from the University Professor of Hawaii, and basically you need no pumps, no motors, no air, and you set it and forget it. Look really. at how beautiful, and it's just, it, it's incredible. So you have the ability to do this, and it's not cost prohibitive the way you'd have to be spending $300 for all of the, the supplies, the Correct. nutrients. So you can, you teach people how to make them themselves? I teach them in just a few minutes how to provide all their food for themselves in the easiest possible way. So not only um, teaching locals in the community, also helping the restaurants. Swing on over yeah. here. Let's introduce everybody to Zach uh, with the farm table just down the street here in Placerville. Okay, so what are you doing with the microgreens? So right now we're just garnishing one of our dishes. It's a salmon dish right now. Um, we get them from Farmer Joe. And he's actually encouraged us. He was asking us if we had room in our restaurant to uh, put something like this in right now, which we don't. But, you know, instead of buying from him, he encourages us to, to grow our own food. So that's, that's pretty cool. So we try to do uh, local fresh, and meeting him is a great thing. And it helps us uh, st stick to being local and fresh here. So. Yeah, it certainly does. And so you have the opportunity to work with Farmer Joe. This is so neat. So what do people need to do? Because really, I, I know it's just on your heart to help people grow their own greens. Yeah, we started the Grow Scouts. And if you go to thegrowscouts.com, my phone numbers and email is on there. Feel free to give me a call, and I'll, I'll give you all the knowledge you need. And I'll also invite you here to take a class. So we are at the Waterfall Salon and Spa. It's a sweet little spot. They gifted Farmer Joe the use of this entire back patio so you could swing on over, have a facial, and then learn all about microgreens. It's a great, great situation. It's a, it's a, a twofer. A it's a win. twofer. <laughs> um, when we come back, it's a twofer. Um, we're going to take you underground. They have a wine cellar. And as you can tell, it is already hot out here in Placerville. <laughs> we're going to go underground and show you what he's creating um, so that when his students come to learn on hot days, they don't have to be out here baking in the heat. True. Right? Uh, True. We're listening. Right. All right. It's a perfect day to burrow underground. Yes. Right? Yeah. It seriously will be. Thank you. All right. It can sometimes be strange to bump into your coworkers outside the office. Coming up new at 9 this morning, the company that plans events, though, to make things a little less awkward when you're hanging out with your workplace peeps outside.